let's break the ice. I know that we're drinking coffee. It mm. is 11 a.m. in the morning, but you are Scottish. Yeah, it could have been whiskey, couldn't it? That's what I was going to ask. That was my second option, actually. Is that, um, is yeah, that your really, go-to? At the moment, yeah, as of a few months ago. Well, no, ever since being on Outlander, they're all really into their uh, whiskey. And so I had to get into it. My grandpa loves it. So that was my second option. I could have put some whiskey in the coffee. I thought about that. Do you oh, know that I actually thought that. about that? I was like, that would that. be quite cool. Uh, maybe we can still do it. No, yeah, 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 yeah. maybe we can. Um, maybe we can. Sorry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, coffee for now is good. Some strong black coffee. Yeah. I haven't actually tasted it. Well, neither have I. So it's any good. Well, cheers. Mmm. <laughs> cheers. Mmm. That's good. Congratulations on Outlander. Thank you. Uh, what was it like? walking onto a set of established characters, actors, Sam Hewen, Katrina Balfe. Mm. Um, did you get nervous? What was, what was the, the moment like for you? Uh, yeah, no, I was very nervous. <laughs> I actually didn't, when I auditioned for the show, I didn't know it. I, I'd heard about it, but I didn't know it at all, so I didn't really know who they were. Yeah, my first day on set, I was absolutely shitting myself. I was terrified. I'd never been on a set that large. And I hadn't been introduced to Kat really. We'd met at the read through very briefly, and I didn't really know anyone. The only person I'd really met was Nell Hudson, who played mm -hmm. my mum in it. Um, and she'd sort of taken me under her wing a little bit, so I like stuck with her. So the first scene I ever had to do was coming in and sort of attacking Kat's character. So we did the scenes, and me and Kat's character, and Sam, like Sam and I got to know each other a bit, but we weren't really meant to, like, despite him being my stepdad in it, we weren't really meant to have much of a relationship because mm. it was very fraught mm. as a relationship anyway. Um, but Kat and I, the relationship was meant to be very negative. So it kind of worked that we didn't know each other. And I just remember thinking, I've just had to like attack her and we've not even spoken. And she's so beautiful and tall and intelligent and commanding. And she just has this energy of like a bit of a goddess. Mm. And I just was so intimidated. And so then we'd sit in the green room and sort of literally we scope each other out a little bit. <laughs> and then eventually she's like, it's like, who are you? <laughs> and then we started chatting. And then in South Africa we became really good friends because you were all just out there together, like a bit like at summer camp, where everyone just like, no one could go home really at night. Mm. You were all living together. And um, so me and her got to know each other really well and she really became a bit of a guiding light. Oh my God, whiskey. <laughs> yeah, do it. I'll do it. <laughs> wow. Great. Do you okay. want some? Oh. Do you want to put it in the coffee? No, you can't shot whiskey. <laughs> That's sacrilege. <laughs> I think I'll put it in yeah. my coffee, yeah. Oh, cheers, but cheers, cheers. I'll have a wee sip of it for him. Mm. Oh, Ooh, nice. Yeah, let's do that. Oh my God, this oh is Oh my great. word. You started this, by the way. Happy 11 a.m., everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we have to do like a real cheers. 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 Let's go. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oof, that was really <laughs> so you play the character Marsley. Mm. She's feisty. Mm. She knows what she wants. She's a bit of a romantic mm -hmm. with Fergus. Mm. How much of your your personality did you bring to her character? Oh, quite a lot. I remember when I got the call for the audition. Me and my agent were like, she was like, yeah, she's headstrong, she's this, she's that, she's that. And I was like, oh, right, so she's me. And yeah. she was like, you're very right for it. I was like, okay. And then I saw that she was Leary's daughter, which is Nell, and I Googled Nell and saw her face and I was like, we could definitely be family. Mm. So yeah, I definitely am very outspoken and um, Marcy's a very non-conforming woman of her time and unpredictable and goes after very much what she wants despite what anyone thinks, mm. like propriety be damned. So I think for me, yes, it was very similar. Um, I think I could probably control myself a bit more than she could. Mm. Um, but yeah, I would say quite similar. It seems like you sort of just started booking stuff right out the bat, but that's not the case. No. So how did you deal with rejection? I mean, you must have had a million no's before you had your yeses. So how, how yeah. do you deal with that? I mean, you start, like I start obviously dealing with it, that you, I think as actors, you'll deal with it yeah. your whole career. Um, my parents have always been a big influence on my life generally, but my dad's like catchphrase when it comes mm. to <laughs> like pep talks with me is patience and resilience. 
I used to always be like, all right, yeah. Yeah. And then now I'm like, it's actually great advice, very simple advice. And someone recently said to me that um, <clears throat> answers will come as they come and it's sort of like rejection will come and shit will happen and then you have to just sort of ride with it a little bit and um, hope for the best. A lot of it's luck and I don't know, I don't, I'm still learning how to deal mm. with rejection for sure. Like I would in no way say I'm qualified on how to give advice on how to be fine about it because mm. I don't know that I ever will be fine yeah. about it. What kind of things should aspiring actors get involved in to prepare themselves mm. for the industry? I would say things like finding a community. If you can do that as early as you can, I would say that's really important. Being an actor, I think, is a super solitary. can be very lonely. Mm -hmm. It's just you trying to do it. Um, and if you can find a community, whether that be a theatre company or acting classes or... Um, a production company that you create with friends, that could be really important. I have a, what I feel like is a strong community of actors that we make things together and producers and writers and whatever else. And I think that's the way the industry's going now as well, that you'll make, everyone's making a lot of their own work mm -hmm. and that's what's being pushed forward and being made and, and funded as well. So do you think as an actor, it's also important to have your feelers in other fields, such as writing mm. and producing and directing? And yeah, I do. Yeah. I think it's important that you're aware of everyone's job when it comes to being on set or being mm. in a show. I think everyone respects you a lot more if you have something to say about it and you understand where they're all coming from. I think it makes sort of much more collaborative situation because I mean that's what this is isn't it that's we, yeah, oh, it's exactly. all about collaborating yeah. with everyone so I think that is essential really okay. you've just shot a new film called girls who drink oh yeah it seems super different from Outlander yeah <laughs> tell me yeah tell me a little bit about that so that was a short actually that uh, it's a director called um, Lily Rose Thomas um, she's amazing we met on a writer's retreat and then a while later she said to me she'd written this film and would I do it? I was like, yeah, I'll do anything that you've done. And so we did it and it was great and it went really well and it was sort of exploring uh, that with men we often explore alcoholism or um, like the depths of which it can affect your mental health mm. and it can be um, difficult to deal with. But women, we don't really see it. You sort of just see it as like a party girl or like you don't see that that can actually be a real issue for young girls and women as well. Um, and it was exploring the relevant experiences, I guess, that you don't see that often. And it's been received very well. I'm really pleased. Yeah, oh, a lot of people come back and said, "This, I've gone through this and I really related yeah, to they can relate it. parts yeah. of it. Which is, like, that's, I suppose, what we're trying to do, mm. is try and have people see something in a bit of work that makes them think about their own life or mm. lets them know they're not alone in yeah, some exactly. way. Yeah. Do you have any Scottish sayings that you could teach me? Yes. My favourite, one of my favourite ones is Dreech. What? So, <laughs> so Dreech is Dreich. the way, is like the weather. So you know when it's like a grey, horrible, sort of drizzly day? Yes. So, so it's like a specific kind of weather that we have in Scotland, where it's like grey, drizzly. Dreech. 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 And you're like, oh, Dreich. it's a Dreech day. It's a Dreech day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> is there like a, a, a saying that's like, Goni no day that. It's just like, don't do that. Goni no day that. Goni no day that. Goni no day that. Goni no day that. That's, <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> if you could break the ice with anyone, past or present, who would it be and why? Oh yeah, people get asked this. Um, I actually think it'd be really interesting to meet Jesus because okay. I'd be like, I'd be like, what happened? Yeah. Like, what do, is it? What's going on? Like, did I just want to know what actually went down? Um, big Bang, everything. Mm. I think that'd be quite interesting, you know, see what you had to say. Is is there something up there? Just give me confirmation yeah, knowledge. of it all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, David Bowie, someone like that would also be great. Yeah. If you feel like that's Stevie Nicks, someone like that would be great. But Stevie Jesus, Nicks I think, would like be a lot of insight. I think you'd hold a lot of power mm. and be able to, and people would want to know a lot from you. It's actually really interesting. No one's ever said Jesus. Yeah. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. No, but he was also meant to be a total rebel, so yeah. I'm like, I think you'd be a great coffee. I think you guys would get along. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, cheers again. Cheers. To our whiskey and coffee. Oof, lovely. Thank you so much for being here. It's, it's, it was so much fun. Thank I feel like I've learned me. so much about, like, you know. Jesus. Jesus <laughs> and Scotland. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was Thank awesome. You. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs>